little moonies. Uh, I'm sorry about. I'm sorry for tonight's stream. It turned out to be a total bus. But nevertheless, I'm gonna continue, well, at least finishing up the story in Fate Requiem. I can't leave you guys hanging, you know? Alright, so let's do this! Hmm. Alright, let's do this. I know it's a- Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. I know it's only been two turns, but I feel like a lot has already been passed. A lot has already been done, in terms of the gameplay. <laughs> alright, alright Helena, do your thing. No, we're not quite there yet, but that's alright. How sweet! Sweet! Awesome! Yes, girl, you walk! I have to get guts. Got nothing on this face. Jeez. Alright, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Let's see, but... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Huh? Yeah. Triple Ice King. Let's go, let's do this. Awesome, awesome. Sweet. Sure. You do too, don't you? Shut up, just shut up. Not stop it. We should just join forces. You're not my voyager anymore. You belong to Chaldea now. Now don't be so dramatic. If that's what you think, then take a look at this. The game piece. A game piece. What about it? But uh, I gave it to her. Did I see? Did I see? Could come to this world. You did. Then you invited Moonlight here. Uh huh. I asked her to come here because I want to help you. Then, you don't belong to Child Day after all? This isn't about orders or summonings. They came because I asked them. Aww. They rode the tram with me and played lots of games with me. Yeah, we're friends. So now they're my friends. So I've, so I've just been getting worked up about a misunderstanding this whole time? Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, there is your huge tsundere. 
All I can say is, Voyager has never been Chandra's property. No one has. They all live their own lives the way they want to. Yeah. I'm no different. I just want to live that way too, along with Senpai. Isn't it the same for you, Arise? Don't you also want to live your own life the way you want to? I'm not so sure. Honestly, I feel like I've just been playing a role more than living my life. Oh boy. What do you mean? I was born with a curse instead of a holy grail. I used it to strike out and live on my own. You mentioned evil spirits earlier. Are those the black things you use in combat? Yes, they're malicious souls who are constantly trying to consume me. Souls, is that a figure of speech or... No, they're very literal souls of the dead. Are they now? You know, I've always been fascinated with the soul. Even, I was never able to fully decipher its true nature. I have to say I'm hard pressed to believe an ordinary human can make such masterful use of them as you do. Uh, damn it. Mm, no wonder we suspect it. your powers come from some sort of god of the underworld, as Edgy Mia here suggested. Nerys, <laughs> if you don't mind my asking, what about your parents? What do they... Mary says they have parents. Oh. How sad. Aw. Poor Eris. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. I was so young when you died, and I barely even remember them. Although, when you think about it, it's kind of messed up. My own parents are basically normal. You to me than the evil spirits. The nameless souls that have haunted me my whole life. The evil spirits of people who never made a name for themselves, but gotten soon after, de after departing this world. I never made a name for myself either, but I wanted to. I began taming the evil spirits, summoning them as twisting finger-like branches and blades. I learned to use them as extensions of myself, as weapons. Whoa. Okay. Alright, alright. I never read Fate Requiem, maybe I said, but... Can anyone tell me in the, in, in the light novel, is Eris really connected to a, a, a god of the underworld? I won't say, I won't say its name, but... Kind of implies he comes from a family of mages that that can control evil spirits. At least that's what I think. Eventually, I gave him a name, Earl Kalnig. From then on, I played the part of a grim reaper. Huh? Because it was the only thing I could do. Maybe so, but your life is still your own. You can choose how you want to live it. Yeah. Hmm. Come on, Eris. Hey, Moonlight, maybe it's time to get going? I think you're right. Indeed, this is where we go our separate ways, Moonlight. Uh, what are you talking about? Hey, you're leaving me too? Take a look at the path we traveled. Oh boy. Goodbye, Daze. Goodbye, Daze. The ghosts, but I thought they weren't going to do anything to us. They probably changed the rules on us after that last battle. I mean, the one the light knight just fought. But they were just another part of the game's rules earlier. And now you're saying they become players? All I 
to say for certain is that there, there are conflict between the two players change something. And that conflict means to change even the very rules of this world. Well, this goes to show that we humans can do when we put our minds to it, doesn't it? There's a pack of monsters headed up towards the mountain. Headed up the mountain towards us. And me and I will hold them off while the rest of you keep moving. Off you go now, youngsters. So you're going to stay on Earth, huh? Indeed, such is the role those of us who seek to reach the stars must sometimes play. Now those of us in different places may have found bitterly at times, we still share the same goal. Voyager. You are the embodiment of humanity's accumulated scientific knowledge and shining symbol of our hope for the future. <laughs> Speaking for all humanity, we can be proud of you. I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you, I promise. Aw, goodbye kitty cat, energy Mia. I know you won't. Alright, alright, go on then. You have a star of your own to seek after all. Sweet. Aw, goodbye you two. You may not be my favorites, but you're pretty cool. Okay. The star, huh? I just hope it doesn't turn out to be a pit of darkness. Especially after everything we did to get, to get there. I'll be fine. You know it's pretty dark in space. Is that so? Senpai? Sawi? Yeah, let's get going. You two are Reese. Huh? Me? That's a great idea. Hold on, why don't you want me in Lost, remember? It's not about winning or losing, dum dum. You're right, I know exactly why. You know, Voyager, I really. I'm glad you're finally being honest. Oh, the team's back together again. Voyager and Aries. Huh, did you have to say that now? Yeah, we go! <laughs> Aw, how cute! Ten! We're jumping ahead one, about one kilometer. They should put us right by the sign's main gate. Oh, okay, sweet. Who's this? Hey, Aries. Ah, shogunai. Kore mo enda. Watashi wa Utsumi Erise, 14 sai. Ima yori sku. し、秋葉原の出身。町の見回りが私の仕事。ナイトウォッチって言うんだけどね。なんか死神って呼ばれてる。え、ちょっとかっこいいとか。そのお、思ってないよ。I <笑> cool, think you're cute, cool Aris. Hmm. All right, sweet. We finally got her. I think, from my from my perspective, uh, this is the first time we finally get our four star. 
I mean, it's so late in the event. But, whatever. She's pretty cool. I may not want to 10 10 10 her, but. <sighs> こんなことがあるんだ。苦労するだろうな、君。なんて言ったら、エリセ、怒るな。オッケー、ライクアセットフォー。よく。レオナルドダヴィンチの強化ラボへ。今日も元気に始めちゃおう。ああ、ジーズ
座ってるのって一つ星二つ星夜空一面のクリアうんいい調子だね何が手に入ったのかしら My thank you, Voyager. Uh, Which is kind of creepy that I called him the satellite soda. <laughs> Kinda like soda. <laughs> Obviously, it's the final battle. Kusi, so do you then. Grr, grr. <laughs> you poor thing, you must be in so much pain. What's the matter? Is it an old wound? I can endure any pain from wounds inf inflicted by blades and arrows. Even my death came and went in mere moments, after which there was nothing but pure darkness. No, what truly frightens me is what came after I came, my senses in the underworld. What truly frightens me is what came after I came to, my senses in the under uh, underworld. These. My injuries are no longer stained. Now that my body has returned to the earth, yet my heart still aches as though its wounds were fresh. Yes, I know what you mean. As long as we retain our souls, the wounds in our hearts never stop hurting. You know, you and I have a lot in common. We both ruled over peaceful countries, adored and beloved by our people. But then, all of a sudden, our people betrayed us, despised us, and tore us from our loved ones. I see. You had a son, didn't you? Grr. <laughs> it's okay. You cry all you need. It won't help you forget, but it will help you feel better. Fortunately, we are surrounded by darkness right now. You don't have to worry about anyone seeing you. Damn it. You don't have to worry about anyone seeing you, or laughing at you, or mocking you. Ah, oh boy. It's cold here, so cold I can barely move. If only this cold would come from my heart as well, and let me fall back into eternal sleep. Instead, the empty darkness serves only to remind me of my fondest memories of days gone by, in all too vivid color. You know, if if you're cold, I could keep you warm. Uh, what did you say? 
And if you like, I'd be happy to sit next to you. I said be at least a, a little better than being all on your own. Maniacal laughter. You truly do not fear me, do you? How interesting. Oof. Would you rather be by yourself? Not at all. I would welcome your company. Come, sit. Oh wow, you really are freezing cold, you poor thing. And you are indeed warm to the touch. Just make... Damn it, FGO, your text is a bit too quick. And you are indeed warm to the touch. This takes me back to my most blissful days, and I will fall asleep with my beloved child in my arms. Oof. Oh yes, I know what you mean. The time I had with my little Charles was the happiest. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, it was the happiest time of my life. Hmm. You know, I hope... Prince Charles... No, I mean... Louise the 17th actually makes it an FGO. It's obvious he'll be an Avenger. And now it's just you and me here. The least we can do is console each other. Yes, indeed. Ah, you are so nice and warm. Perhaps it would not be so bad for both of us to re remain here in darkness and re to return to our eternal slumber. That does sound nice, to forget everything that happened and, fi and finally be at peace. And I'm afraid it'll only be a matter of time until we have to wake up again. How will we wake up? The outside world is cruel and unforgiving. That's why it will eventually be discovered here in our peaceful retreat ruin. You and I are both the scapegoats for our people. Once they find us, they will blame us for all their woes and take their frustrations out on us. Who oh knows, someone might be headed up the mountains, even as we speak. Huh, interesting, if you are right about that. The no seeking this darkness will never see this place as true nature. They may think they are making their way to a shrine on the summit of a well-known spiritual mountain. Oh, the Mount Mount Togokusi. But in fact, their pilgrimage leads them directly into the very depths of the underworld, from which there can be no return. And they will be none the wiser. <laughs> they will not have the slightest idea. Rawr. <laughs> hmm. I'm not much of an actor. So... Give me some slack. And furthermore, let's take... Let's, well, let, let's examine these context clues. On the mountain, there's mostly Japanese servants. And we're on a Japanese mountain. And supposedly, this will lead us to the underworld. AKA Yomi. So... I can already figure out who's who, you know? Mount Togokusi. Let's go. Who's this? Is this the goal? I think so, according to the rumors I heard. This is where I'll find my friend. Where did you hear that from? Back when I heard Queen Marie declare her intent to become a player. Oh man. Back when I heard Queen Marie declare her intent to become a player. I 
heard her say, say it. Me? What did I say? You counted five games sleeping here in Mondeju. One was cold pulley, one was werewolves in a haunted house. One was Pioneer Heroes, one was Orbit Clat. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, sorry about that. Okay, one was Pioneer Heroes, one was Orbit Class, and the last one was the one we've been playing here. So, Marie, are you the Game Master or are you really Marie? Dragon Search. Oh, uh, yes. I suppose I might have, has, have said something along those lines, but I forget all about it. After all, those were just rumors I heard from the Meeple. I didn't know if I could trust them. Well, so far everything has turned out just like you said. Really? Alright, Marie, so what's your true colors? And that must mean there's a dragon here. I'm wearing bridal wear. I remember you said the dragon was trapped in the darkness of a shrine and lies at the top of the sacred mountain. When does he say that? I'm waiting for a player to come find her, as though you were calling on us to act. Many servers answered your call and set off on an adventure to find her. I was too scared to say anything at the time. But I swore to myself that I would do whatever it took to save her. You do the same, right, Voyager? Are you talking about Koyo? You know this person I'm dragging? He's one of my best friends. I'm sorry, but I mean, how many dragons in bridal wear can there be? It's a little hard to imagine, so what's he's so what's he's like anyway? You'll see when you meet her. She's one of the best people you'll ever meet. She's kind and considerate and she's always got your back no matter what. Well, I can't wait to meet her. Go no on, Aries, open the door. Yes, your majesty, without further ado. Oh boy. Now break this seal right now. I must not wake from this dream. Do not wake from this dream. My oh boy. Uh, who are you? Wait a minute. <clears throat> I must not wake from this dream. Do not wake from this dream. That is when I would like to know of you. Whoever you are, you'll pay dearly for wrestling me from my dream. I don't have time for this. I know Koyo's in that shrine. Now tell me exactly where I can find her. Uh, Koyo, you say? Where did you hear that name? Not that it's any of your business, but... <laughs> I got to know her in Akihabara. Where, where I work. I have no recollection of that. Why would you? I don't know who you are, and I don't care. Now tell me where Coil is already. Hang on, wherever she is, she has a tail. Yeah. Right, Senpai, I noticed it too, but it was this, but I wasn't sure if I should point it out or not. <clears throat> Ah, it's alright to point it out, Mass. <coughs> it looks like a dragon's tail. Or at least some kind of reptile. <coughs> hmm. Oh boy. Don't freeze on don't freeze on me, game. Huh? Did you say a tail? Yep, right there. 
It's so dark, I can barely make it out. But it kind of looks familiar. Come on, Ares. That's Koyo. Your spirit origin is the same. Your spirit origin? You mean you can tell? A tail and horns? Is seen Oni? Huh? Well, what's going on? You don't look anything like the coil light. You there. You say you recognize me, young man? Uh-huh. I never forget people. Oh, an unforgettable heroic spirit. I think I finally got what you meant, Voyager. Voyager, I don't recall hearing that name before. Because here we haven't met yet. War hasn't happened yet, right? War, do you mean the, la the last Holy Grail War you mentioned earlier? I think you said it takes place a little after your time, yes. Well, going by uh, FGOJP. But it makes you wonder. What? Where does Requiem fit in the Fate timeline? Huh? Okay. In all honesty, Fate Grand Order isn't a sequel to Stay Night or Hall Ataraxia. It can't be. Damn it. And how does Fate Requiem fit into this? How is it a sequel to FGO? And then it's in its own timeline. Really. I know it takes place in 2025, but still. I don't see any connections to the previous series. But it also happens in, happens in a different world than yours. Both Eris and I came here from the world's future. Uh huh, that's why I don't know us yet, Koyo. So you're saying you met you meet in the future? That sounds like something out of a storybook. Or a light novel, you could say. <laughs> Is your purpose here to trick me? To attract me? Nope. Of course not. You're one of our closest friends. We never do anything like that to you. Mm. Oh. I know you have no reason to trust us, seeing as we're still complete strangers to you, but... Wait, hold on. I was planning to rescue you and bring you back to our original time. But since you're actually from this time, it wouldn't be right to bring you back with us with it. It would... It would be like time travel for you, or being spirited away to a strange, unknown world. Does this mean I have friends in your time, girl? Yep. Uh, I mean, yes. And you have a master, too. A master? Oh, but that doesn't mean you're her slave or anything. You and Karen are friends. So, between the two of you, he thinks he was your servant rather than the other way around. <laughs> I see. So my future master's name is Karin. That's right, she's the same age as me. And well, see, he's not a bad kid, but he can be a little complicated. Let's just say she really appreciates her freedom. So she is a girl. She must be cute. You'll see, I'll introduce you myself. It does sound like something to look forward to. Just be certain you do not betray me, alright girl? I won't, I promise. Liar. Oh boy. What? Uh, what? Hmm, what are you doing that? I'm here to accuse Eris Utsumi of betrayal. 
the cues. I want to see her crime slave bear. And her just punishment beating it out. Where is this coming from? She didn't do anything wrong. If that's really what you believe, then take a good look at her. See how pale she is? In ways she can't stop tre trembling, her uneven breathing. Isn't it obvious he feels guilty? Isn't it obvious he feels guilty? Your Majesty, I don't understand. What in the world did I... Don't play dumb murder. No, you're not just a murderer. You took the life of royalty. My own precious son, Louis Charles. What? <gasps> Nearest killed your son? That, that can't be. So you know about Louis. Of course I did. I'm his mother. Then, you don't deny Ares? Does that mean you really... It's true, I... I killed... Bruh. <laughs> Is this true, Marie? Was your son? You heard her, so just confess, plain as day. I didn't know what I was doing. Louise's master had fall, fallen into a self-destructive spiral, and he began destroying other people's lives as well. Woo! He ambushed me, but I, but I fought back. He managed to turn the tables on him. Woo, I really want to read Fate Requiem now. But because of that, Louise became unable to maintain his spirit origin. Any more excuses you like to make? Please, listen to me. This has been eating me up inside. I really wanted to apologize to you, but... I was so scared, I couldn't bring myself to say anything. And how does Marie know this? Too little too late, Grim Reaper. You've always been a servant hunter. That's the job you chose for yourself, isn't it? Sansa may have been a killer, but he also had a deep appreciation for the arts. Even a phantom of the opera generally loved beautiful things. <clears throat> so wait. You're going to ignore those two, but condemn Ares? Please. Talk about bias. What do you have besides your talent for murder? Anything, anything at all? Your Majesty. Silence. You have no right to speak my title, let alone my name. You may say you admire me and respect the royal family and are happy to submit to our authority, but when push comes to self, you're the first to betray us. Really? Stupid, insufferable, common rabble like you is responsible for my Charles and my death. Hmm. In Charles' case, not even becoming a heroic spirit was enough to stop people like you from killing him. How many lives will you take before you're satisfied? <clears throat> That's enough, Marie. Fine, if you insist. But... Uh-oh. Grrr. Oh, she's pissed. Better do something. He just transformed into something more like a dinosaur than a dragon. You may have hard, hard time stopping Kijo Koi over there. Especially now that she's fully given it to her rage. Alright. It looks like we're gonna have to fight. Awaiting your orders, Senpai. Got it, Mass. Me too, at least. Huh. We can't lose now. We have to help Koyo. Alright, alright. Kijo, calm down. 
Uh, I'll take another wa waiver. Do we have to use a Reese? Alright. Pick out something different. Let's see. Hmm. All right, let's do this. This is pretty good. Be a little battle. Mm. Alright, calm down, Dynamami. Kurosanakyo.
よしうん了解罠だ Potatoes. Stop this at once. Oh, hey, Marie. Well, now, who's this? Huh? There are two Maries? No, it, it was a fake, but I wish we could have had that little red riding hood costume. Oh boy. What's going? What's going on here? Your spirit origins look alike, but the two of them are so different. I see. Kinda like two halves of the same coin, right? I know where this is going. That's right, she's another version of me. My own personal dragon witch. Then does that mean she's your altar? I don't know what an altar is, but I can assure you I'm Queen Marie. So you're the one who trapped Coil in me in the darkness of the shrine? Wow, we don't need two queens here, do we? We can vouch for that, right, Coil? Having too many women around is how trouble starts. How people first lose their way. Based. Based. 
girl. Then tell me this, my other self. Did you ever try to conduct yourself like a queen? What a ridiculous question. Everything I do is queenly by definition. But if you're asking if I ever dedicated myself to bettering the lives of my subjects, then no. I never consider such a thing to be among my responsibilities. Oh snap. How could you be so callous? This whole world of Mondeju is like a giant festival. Anything at all can happen here. It's a place where everyone has their own holy grail and a bond with the servant. But no one can live life like an ordinary human. You saw those humans who are turned into meeple, did you? Didn't you? Those idiotic walking tributes to mediocrity. You don't even have the decency to be ashamed of losing your individuality. I can never sell in my beautiful sighing soul just to have the likes of them. Yeah, Marie. That's why I gave up on my subject, my player. But that pitiful fool still worships me. Even now, I'm taking taking advantage of him to maintain my spirit origin. You heard my call for service to throw off their sackles and become players too, didn't you, Aris? Yes, I did. I thought it was amazing. I really admired how free and full of confidence you seem to be. Was it all just a lie to lure me here? So you can punish me for my transgressions? You can see the little twit. Do you think this is all about you? Just kidding. You're right. It was all to bring you here. You really hate me that much? If that's what you want me to say, then I will. Maybe it'll even help you feel like you matter. I... I can't. <laughs> Bitter, Reese. Very good. That's the pain I want you to feel. Now all you need is a single tear of regret. To finally bring it all home. That's the sort of drama that's the thrill of the pathetic commoners who support me. What a hunt. What do you mean? Who would be thrilled by tormenting a Reese? Don't be silly. The kind of ordinary commoners you find anywhere and everywhere can't get enough of this stuff. I'm only giving them what they want. In fact, I'm the embodiment of it. I'm a roof I'm a ruthless, cruel, greedy, and unspeakably beautiful queen. And you are Reese, you're an offering. A sacrifice to be drawn and quartered for the amusement to the mass of the masses. <sighs> My her. Huh? What? You want me to dredge up painful memories again? It was hard enough discussing my son's death. The first. Something's not adding, adding up. How do you even know about servant Louise? Well, hold on. Do you even have memories of Louise? Huh. That's a good point. A few notable exceptions aside, a servant's memories acquired during a materialization are lost when they, when they return to the throne of heroes. <clears throat> so there shouldn't be any way for you to learn the circumstances of Louise Charles' death in Ares' world. Yeah. Do you remember who dealt Louise the killing blow? <clears throat> If you remember what happened in her world that clearly, there's only one explanation that makes sense. Girl, does that mean she was there? Or you must be from the same time and place and saw everything that happened yourself. Ooh. Who are you really? <laughs> Why, I'm you, Aris. 
Uh, what? Uh... Can we see there's a very huge difference? Anyway, what? why is it... Why it... Okay, why isn't Dark Murray... You know, a servant, you know? That could boost your sales, a single. Hmm. What? I'm you, I'm the dark cursed blood coursing through your veins. Okay. I'm an amalgam of what you call evil spirits, it has taken the form of the queen you hold in the highest regard. I am the Earl Konek who rules over you. Okay. You thought I was an alternative version of Maria Antoinette? What a truly insipid joke. Did you really think an immature whelp like yourself you have a firm grasp on Marie Antoinette's true nature, Reese? Uh, okay. No, your dark and twisted emotions were the perfect seedbed in which to grow a portrait of Marie as the commoner see her. Of course, on the odd chance that the real Marie was actually summoned, she would be nothing like me. Hee hee hee, is that what you think? Marie. You of all people should be looking down on me. No, you should be completely disgusted by me, shouldn't you? Goodness, that brings, that brings back memories. I remember wearing that morning dress myself. <clears throat> Whose soul are you mourning, other Marie? Are you grieving over the blood shed by the Bourbon family? Or maybe Francis lost past? <coughs> Queen Marie. I don't blame you for anything, Arise. When you get right down to it, we heroic spirits are no more than somebody else's dream. Mother Marie, even if you are no more than a mass of spirits given the wrecks new form by Arise's regrets. Oh, just like Jack the Ripper. You're still a dream somebody else once had. It's a great honor. <clears throat> you should be proud. After all, you exist because so many people you outright love remember you. <clears throat> ah, Marie, heroic spirit Marie. Your purity of heart never fails to surprise me. You know your sheer idiocy. Don't you even think about defending Arise? She knows she deserves to be punished for this. She wants to be punished. <clears throat> she wants to swap while in the slide of her sins until it stays her down to her very soul. <clears throat> You're wrong. At least she's stronger than you think. That's why you'll never be her. Warrior girl. It doesn't matter how many allies you have. At least there still always be the same pitiful wreck. There's no escape for you now. I will see every last bit of you slowly. Uh, he's not gonna make errors get a uh, Sakura, is he? a Reese or something? Reese. Hmm. I'm gonna have to use someone else.
Alright, <clears throat> the strategy may be a bit weird, but I want to give it a shot. Let's do this. Well, I think I'll go with this. Huh. Alright. Hope it works. できないから。ツーマン、中だな。他にやることない。こういうのどうだ。ツーマン、中だな。他に。ツーマン、中だな。他にやることないの。こういうのどうだ。ツーマン、中だな。他にことないの。
けど To get the finishing blow. Say, Maurice, I was so close to selling you for good. But this isn't over yet. I challenge you to another game. I'll give it up. And this time, I'm going to sully the entirety of Mondeju itself. Mondeju. Wait, come back. The Triana Dark Marine got on is going up to the night sky. What is he doing? That's okay, here comes another one. He wants us to go after her. Alright, damn it. Come on. Not my best battle, but he managed to do it.
マップの行ける場所が増えたようだ注意してうん前のゲームバーグ新宿